Hey y'all, it's Taste Pink and I'm back with another look from the Short Hair Don't Care series and this is a gorgeous curly pixie unit that is perfect for brunch. I'm serving up like the ultimate curly hydrated look. So since we're on our way to brunch, let me know are you team Belgian waffles or team French toast? Meet me in the comments because I know we got a lot to debate about. Now this unit, I wanted to co-wash it of course using conditioner and so it's about 85% air dried. And again, this pre-plucked hairline and the very deep parting that you get is impeccable, okay? One point so because it's about like 85 percent dry i wanted to go back in with some lukewarm water to really saturate the hair because i'm going to show you how to maximize that curl definition if you want it to look real and be unclockable keep watching now with this whey rose hair oil i'm going to use this because i want to start locking in that moisture and it's all about how you layer your products one so it's not super oily but it looks nice and shiny and lustrous. Now this is an extra step. I'm using the Condition 3-in-1 Maximum Hold Mousse because I wanna set that hairline, which is super important, especially for my beginners, to create a very neat install. Make sure you stick with me. Now I'm grabbing a small individual section and just adding a generous amount of water and finger detangling. And then I'm gonna go in with the Aussie Miracle Curls Leave-In Detangling Curl Milk. And again, I like to use a very, very generous amount and first like shingle that with my fingers, but then this brush is magical. So we're gonna take these curls from like, okay, to like popping. But you see how I'm turning the brush, which is very, very important. When you are applying the product, it's important to distribute it with your fingers, but then you also want to use this brush to help create a bit of tension in the hair so that it really can exaggerate the curls and create a very springy, very tight curl pattern. Because again, this is the natural curl pattern of this unit, but you want to kind of like amplify it and further define it. So be sure that you are turning the brush about 180 degrees so you can get full tension in the section and create those super tight curls. I don't wanna wear my curly units any other way. You see that? That's not what we want. We wanna take it up a notch adding that product and you don't need a lot about a quarter size amount per small section if you want like super dramatic curls and then when you do the magic trick with the brush and do that like 180 degree turn it's, it's just effortless and when you get towards the hairline again you want to pull the brush away from the front edge of the hairline now here i'm just fixing up the back of this section i want the shape of this unit to be on point have volume and look realistic and they did a really good job at layering this and creating a nice uniform look. And to my beginners especially, I'm taking some double prong clips to help keep the hair away from the lace front edge. Again, I like to be neat and this is a really good practice. I'm hyped because this is a left side part, so I'm just gonna go in and neaten it up. I just wanna do a little bit of tweezing ever so gently. You do not have to do this, but I like my parts to be very deep set. So this is the interior of the cap. This is a lace front wig with the elastic band, very comfortable for my head size. I just wanted to try her on and see if she's giving me life, but she's giving all the life. Now again, I'm fixing up that part so it can be a bit more curved. Again, that's optional. That's me being super, you know, extra. Okay, now y'all know I'm a mess, right? Okay, so follow me. I took this NYX NYC concealer. It has a doe foot applicator, so it's really good at like being more precise about how I want to cut my lace. This isn't necessarily where I'm going to use this as an indicator of where to place like the gel that I'm gonna use, but like, you know, I placed the wig wrong. So uh, just, you know, focus on the fact that the line that I created is sort of how I decided how much lace I'm going to remove. And it worked out in the end, okay? So since we're going to disregard the line that I created on my forehead, I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol and just remove that excess because I don't wanna, I don't wanna confuse you guys and I don't wanna confuse myself because that's easy. So I'm just going in with a doe foot applicator and applying the concealer. And this is going to be the indicator of the fact that I do not want any product to go above or like in front of this line. So I'm going in with the got to be glued styling spiking glue. 
and I'm using the end opposite of the sharp edges of the tweezer and this actually worked out pretty well. You can actually thin out the product and apply like a nice thin layer. It makes it super neat and this will also lend to an install that is seamless, that is clean and that can last. It can last up to three days depending on your physical activity levels, how much you sweat and more. Now I'm just going to pull the lace front edge forward. I have a little bit more forehead than the average person, I guess, you know, so shout out to a uh, you know, big forehead team, I see you. Uh, that just means we have a lot of thoughts, period. And so I'm just gonna, you know, secure this in place and use the edge of this duo end brush to make sure that that lace lays flat, especially towards the front, because sometimes the lace edge can flip up. So you wanna be careful and make sure that you're setting it into place. And I'm using the cool setting on the blow dryer, which is important, especially. And as I'm doing this, I'm wiping away that excess concealer just so it's neat and I don't have like that light halo cast around the perimeter hairline. Now this wig is perfect for brunch, okay? Just in case you throw too many mimosas back, you know, you start to get a little bit light on your feet, you know, light on the fingertips, you start texting crazy, like even if you start sweating a bit, you're not gonna be hot because this unit is like the perfect length, the perfect density, it's not overwhelming, perfect ventilation because it is that lace front wig cap construction. So ugh, you can go, you can dance, you have a good time, your wig will be in place and intact by the end of brunch, okay? Cause you know, if you're anything like me, when you go to brunch, you throw a couple of mimosas back and that's the end of that, okay? You can have a really good time, okay? So you don't have to worry. Um, so I asked you guys, are you team Belgian waffle or team French toast? I'm gonna say team Belgian waffle because they go off, but you have to let me know what your thoughts on the situation are. I mean, those pockets in the Belgian waffles, all that syrup, it's just delectable. Now I'm going in with this elastic band to secure it in place just for a few minutes. And then, you know, I want to do my adult swoops. So like I said, you know what I'm saying? Baby hairs, they're really not for the girls my age, okay? So we're giving adult swoops, but we want to be very strategic and we don't want to be, you know, overdoing it. So I'm using the Shine and Jam Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil Styler and this is it. You have to get this. I was looking for something that wouldn't like create like a hard cast or any white residue. And this works so well with the Got To Be Glue Styling Gel. Highly recommend it, definitely get into it. It's not abrasive on the hairline and it's an alternative you might wanna consider. And it also helps to define the curls cause I used the product on, you know, the little curly cue near the ear. Cause you know, I like to wear some of my hair back and it was everything. So let me know, did I do just enough of the adult swoops, not too much? Does it look subtle enough? Look realistic enough? Let me know. Now, trust me, I did talk to her given here about giving you guys some sort of a discount, especially during this time. If they offer one, I will definitely include it in the video. Because trust me, I'm looking out for you all. I know we might be looking to retail therapy, especially at a time like this, but I hope we're also dealing with our emotions and I appreciate you guys supporting me, especially through this time. But I'm just trying to be a resource to the community. You know the vibes. Now I got myself together, okay? And you know, I beat my face a little bit, but look at that hairline. Now I did that, okay? Just let me know how I did. Now I'm doing the you know the final few touches i'm using the hot comb just to slick everything back again because you know i like that behind the ear look and it just works and with the flyaway tamer this is just like a wax stick you can use the care care version which is just as effective and i like to slick the hair down it adds a nice little bit of shine and it tames the excess flyaways and frizz that sometimes comes along with like curly units now, when I took the hair down from the clips, especially near the bang, I didn't like the way it was looking, so I knew I was gonna have to refresh the curls in that area. So I'm just doing like a little bit of polishing, which you won't have to do. Just don't clip your hair the way that I did, cause I'll be trying to get hair out of my face. And so to make sure that that bang is popping and that there's not too much frizz, especially near the bang portion, because I like that flip over method, I'm going back in with a little bit of that All See Miracle Curls and my favorite brush. And then I wanted to use a wide tooth comb to fluff the curls, give it a little bit more volume. Again, this volume is perfect for this length. And if you want to take it a step further, use a bit of foundation. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation to accentuate that part 
and the hairline. And when I tell you I got my entire life and tell me, is this a brunch ready look? Okay, we're going to brunch, you know, the whole squad. We're off to brunch. We're having mimosas. I'm ordering Belgian waffles, you know, some, some eggs, some grits, uh, a fruit bowl. What are you ordering? Are you getting the Belgian waffles or the French toast? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.